Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to our podcast. So we're trying to give podcasting a go and see if we like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so our name is Casual Conversation with Gloria and Eileen. Hi. So I'm Gloria. I'm Eileen. And um, I don't know. We're just why? Why did we want to do this? Maybe for we fun? can start there. Yeah, for just fun. for like, I guess, just to be have like a hobby. Yeah, I'm really into podcasting. I like to listen to radio podcasts, um, listen to talk radio, um, and talk to people. So I thought maybe it would be fun to start a podcast, and I dragged her in with me. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not too familiar with podcasts, but anything I do know was because of you. And, and I just remember you always putting them like late at night and I would always just be like, talk radio again. This is so boring, you know, but then like, it's interesting. It is interesting. You know, you think it's not, but you learn all kinds of stuff. Like, especially like if it's like things that you're interested in, right? Like, it's like, you know, for us, probably paranormal. I love right. par- paranormal. So I actually would always go on YouTube and try to like listen to as much paranormal stories as I could. And then I would go and share them with my family. And it was fun. Yeah. Um, we, one, we did learn a lot. I mean, didn't we? I, yeah, I guess. I mean, I mean yes, you think from, you learned something? Yes. From all the disappearances, all kinds oh, of Oh, well, stories. the missing 411. So that's one of the ones that I'm really into. I really like it. It's so intriguing um if you guys haven't heard of it dave polites is his name he has books and he now i think has a youtube channel so but the two documentaries too yeah oh the documentaries are amazing yes. oh my god yes they're um, scary yeah especially i for me personally the second documentary the hunted i guess it's called missing 411 the hunted and that one freaked me out like for sure <laughs> no, yeah it was really scary it was um the other thing, the or the other person that I really love and I admire is the Dark Waters channel. If you guys haven't um, heard of him, now he has his own website. So it's IamDarkWaters.com. And it's amazing. I mean, his stories, he's one of the best narrators that I've heard. Um, and, I, and I do listen to a lot on YouTube, but he's by far the best, I think. Um, And his stories are just, tell him about that one time. So we went traveling, we went to Las Vegas and I was like, hey, let's listen to some scary stories because we were driving at night. And so you want to tell them? And so she decides to put a story and it's dark, you know, like when you're driving there, it's, it's pitch dark. It's the the desert. And like, okay, yeah, it was perfect for, for like storytelling but then again, it was really scary because we're like over here listening about like these scary stories about things that happened in Vegas. You know, you're talking about the the um the most recent one I'm talking about. So so we were listening to this one about this guy. I guess he was like he almost sounded like he had like schizo or what? Like, oh, no, that one was. So yeah. Scary. And that so I so put that one on and actually like um so we were listening to it and Eileen. Uh was listening to it so was my husband i'm i am married <laughs> and so we were listening to it and on the way over there and they got so scared like eileen was so terrified <laughs> that, was so that she was like oh my god you need to do a prayer because we are both of us we are um catholic and very we i feel like i'm very a deep catholic so um i was like okay you know, let's listen to this. And I, even after I listened to it, I got scared. And Eileen was like, dude, let's do a prayer. This is scary. So we, I started doing a prayer. And then, um, you know, they it, they, it, it helped, right? Yeah, yeah but, but that's, that's the type of situations that, you know, she tends to put us in with these stories. <laughs> like stories that are really scary. And I just, like, get scared. And I keep thinking about it. And I'm like, dang, now we have to do a prayer now because this is, like, some next level stuff. It, it was scary. And um, I like I like more of, like, like, I don't know if you guys have heard of, like, the Dog Man and the Bigfoot stories. And Skinwalker Ranch. Skinwalker Ranch. Yes. I love Skinwalker Ranch. But when it comes to, like, demonic stuff. No, that's that's a little. Sorry, light. guys. This, our dog, Juicy. <laughs> 
she barks at everything so yeah um yeah but the demonic stuff i'm not really into that much because i do like as much as i am catholic and i believe in god and jesus i believe in jesus christ like i still get scared um but i have a very strong you know religious background so i'm like um you know i got this i'm not gonna be scared i'm gonna pray i'm gonna do my rosary or i'm gonna bless the house you know i even use a sage um but as far as like other scary stories i love yeah i think they're always interesting they are interesting um so what are what's something you like um i feel like the same thing because basically because you know you got me into it you know? So you do like paranormal so, now yeah, all of a is, sudden. It is. Even though I get scared, I like listening to it. Like when, whenever, like, you know, like I'm saying, like the radio, you know, whenever the we would coast listen to coast. coast to Coast. Coast to Coast was how I started Yeah, on Coast that. to Coast AM. And I remember listening to it, like, late at night and being scared. But it's interesting. Like, you learn so many things. Yeah. So... And about places, too. Like, they'll talk about, like, haunted places or anything, and you'll learn about, like, these places that you didn't know about, you know? Yeah. It's so. it's definitely interesting. So that's what I do on my spare time, which sometimes I don't have any spare time, but I try to, you know, get it in there. Um, I do listen to, like, different podcasts. Like, uh, I like the, the Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do I like? As far as, like, actual conversation ones. Wow. Um, I mean, there's a few, but what about you? What do you What are you into? What do you What do you like to do on your spare time, Eileen? Spare Share with the time, people. Spare time, probably read. <laughs> read? Well, I mean, I feel like it's the same thing. Like, She's into makeup. Yeah, makeup. Clothing. Uh, clothes. Shopping. Shopping, right? So, if you guys want any advice, your yeah. girl here is very good at whipping clothes up. <laughs> and Gloria the opposite yeah I'm probably. not I'm not I'm not a makeup person I am not uh I do dress up when I have to um but yeah that's what else do you want to share about you um I feel like I I like this whole idea oh. of this podcast because to learn things you know, I feel like that's... To that's, meet people? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's that's really, like, what it, what it would be about. That's what's interesting. Yeah. So, um, I know that right now everybody's worried and with the quarantine. We are in quarantine. We are in California. So, it gets nerve-wracking, but... I don't really want to focus on that because I feel like that's what everybody's really like talking about. And I feel like every time I like open my phone or I get Mm -hmm. on social media, it's always about that, the virus. So I don't really want to like talk about that today. I just want to like kind of see how it goes. Um, So what we're trying to base this channel most on is um, just conversations like talking to people talking to each other on our normal day-to-day basis Um, (coughs) and uh we're hoping that we might get like some of our family members to come in and kind of interact and chat with us too um so and i feel like it'll be fun right yeah i feel like that's mostly what we're trying to get out of it just have fun with yeah. it. Um, if you guys want to stick around and it's just, I feel like it's mostly going to be conversation. And also I want, you know, if you guys have questions or suggestions or advice, because we've never done this before, yeah. we don't know what we're doing. So yeah. we're just trying to, we really don't know. Just do it for into. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that's why we want to do it. Right. Because we just think it'll be fun. Yeah, and good. I mean, we all, it's like we always have these deep conversations yeah. with everybody. Yeah, we always have. But we don't have a camera to yeah. record it. So I feel like now we will kind of share those conversations with people because I feel personally that I learn a lot from people conversating with people and talking to people. So I feel like um, maybe you guys would feel the same. Yeah, I feel like 
we with the people that we talk to on a daily like we come up with all these crazy spectrum of topics and i feel like that's worth sharing yeah like all the things we can come up with yeah and we have a big family so Mm -hmm. um we've talked to a few of them and we told them our ideas and they were like oh yeah that would be cool so we can you know we 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 would be willing to do it too and talk to you guys and come out in it but I know that it's weird because when you're like having just a normal conversation, it feels so legit and yeah. so like it comes natural. Yeah, and then like once you know there's a camera, then we start to get nervous and we like yeah. we're like, oh, how are we supposed to do this? Like we don't know. But I guess uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, told me just do it and you'll learn as you go. So dark waters. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, and also if you guys have any suggestions on things that we should talk about or um, if we do bring some of our family and you guys have questions for them, you know, you guys can ask as well and we will do our best to answer. Mm -hmm. Um, So I was trying to focus on kind of doing like a live, but when I went on YouTube, it wouldn't let us do a live because they said that we have to have more subscribers. So that's challenging but um i guess we can do it this way too and hopefully you know because i feel like if we were to have done it live we would be able to like ask answer questions on the spot you know so it would make it easier that would make it easier but um since we're not there yet or we can't do it yet i guess we have to do it this way um yeah and so do you want to add anything um i'm just looking forward to it yeah yeah i'm surprised because you were the one that (laughs) didn't want to do it i know i didn't because i mean it's weird when you're like you know like you said in front of a camera like it is conversations that you have like on the regular and you're just like filming them is kind of weird but it's interesting because you know the people that we talk to like we always have interesting dude our conversations are interesting i feel like our our conversations are interesting yeah and and we and like even with strangers like we'll meet a stranger and we'll just get really deep and like, I was like, oh man, I wish we had a camera because this is such a great conversation. And even like the questions we would ask yeah. them, they'd be like, what? And like, I wouldn't think about asking that, but. And then, you know, you learn a lot of things from other people. Yeah. Too. Like things you didn't know before, you know, like anything. Right. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else you want to? talk about Mm, no i mean we're not about to start making makeup tutorials okay (laughs) unless you want to i i don't know i don't know would you be willing to do that maybe but i feel like i don't have like really good skills you know well better skills than me i can tell you that (laughs) um but yeah so we're just trying to give it a go Hopefully, we get some subscribers. Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully. And, and yeah. So, if you guys have anything you guys want to talk about, I know. I feel like right now it's kind of short because it's an introduction. But, um, yeah, next time, maybe when we have guests or when we just want to talk about anything randomly. Or whenever we're able to do a live. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Right, because we're trying to, like, do it once a week, I guess. Right? Yeah. You want to do that? So, once a week, um, hopefully. Uh, and just pretty much what I always tell her, it's going to be anything goes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the cool part of it. That there's no... Yeah, it's like anything goes. Anything goes. Yeah, so like we can talk about anything. Yeah, right. Like, like I said, like, with this whole situation going on right now, I feel like yeah. everybody's over overwhelmed with it yeah. already that it's kind of like and mm. and it'd be like perfect to talk about things you know what i mean like like oh let's just talk instead i mean what what else do we have to do you know like we yeah. we have all this spare time and that's the other thing like people don't really i feel like now that we have technology and we're consumed by it so much that we kind of lose track of the importance of talking to people and 
meeting people and conversating. And, you know, when I started dating, like my husband, we would always talk on the phone. We wouldn't text. Now, um, the younger generation, they say, oh, we just text because talking on the phone is weird, right? So that's not what I do. Like, I just, um, I feel like since I am that generation of talking to people still, like we didn't really have phones until like way when I was like, what, in high school, I started to have like an, a cell phone. So now I feel like, um, you know, it's kind of hard for me just to text people. I'd rather talk to people um, or have a conversation with them even better, like person to person. So I feel like we need to focus more on doing that because it's more important to see, you know, facial, facial emotions um, yeah. when you talk. And it's healthy too. And it's healthy. Yeah. yeah. To, to just establish those emotional connections, yeah. relationships. Um, and, and communicating in general. It's just really communicating. Healthy. Yeah. You know, talk about your feelings and, and all kinds of things. And it gives you the opportunity to, you know, just be there, you know, and be, yeah, be real, be as, um, you know, make, maybe know things about that person you didn't know before. Mm -hmm. So, um, I feel like focusing on just conversating is important. Um, also as a family, as you know, like when I come over to my family's house, my parents' house, we try, I just, I'm there and I just talk to them about their day, how everything went and. I mean, they're, of course, older than me, so they're more of talking, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the cell phones, they're kind of yeah. getting there, but still, like, they're more about the talking, communication, face-to-face. -face. Yeah. I feel like so what do you, that's, but that's like, big. And the other thing is kind of like FaceTime or Face Chat or uh -huh. what do you think about that? Like, does that, is that kind of like similar? Or do you I feel think, like it's I better it just doing it like person to person? I mean, I'm a person to person person, you know, like I, I like like face to face conversation. But face to face, would, wouldn't that include like the I mean, you can, I feel like like that's only cool when you can't like see the person, you know what I mean? Like when you can't really like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like see the person. Then, then I feel like that's like a honestly, good thing. like I'm, like thinking about it, I I don't feel the same talking to somebody on a video chat than I do and as a person. I think I as, think the, like in person. I think the video chat issue is like people are too focused on themselves instead of like the conversation. Like it's, again, like, it's the camera thing, themselves. right? It's the camera thing. Yeah, I don't know. So but, maybe like just phone calls is cool. Yeah, yeah. But, like I, I feel think, like I think phone I feel calls like, are cool too. But I feel like. Talking to somebody face to face is I mean, I way like, better. Yeah, I feel like that's because what best. if like, what if like, hey, dude, you want to go get a coffee? Like, let's go to Starbucks or yeah, like hey, let's I, go yeah. eat somewhere. Like, I feel like there's you get to learn more about that person being there. Like, you get yeah. their vibe, right? Because yeah, on the phone, vibe. like on yes. on the FaceTime, you can't you don't understand yeah. what their vibe is, like or like their body language. The body it's language says, says a lot, lot yeah. right? Yeah. So I feel like yeah, like. And yeah, and there's there's like things that you can talk about there, like oh, like your mood's down, like let's talk about that, you know, like because like, of their body language, sad and stuff, yeah, you know? yeah. Because of the so body see, language, see, yeah, it's more body. important. It's I guess having a face to face conversation uh, kind of says more than just a face chat or but uh, yeah, face chat, yeah. right? Is that how you say? It? So like a face chat or like a. You know, like a phone call or a text. I feel like, like it's more important. And, and like I said, I'm the I'm the type of person that like I can feel people's vibes. I can um know a lot about you about you like the way your body language, um the way you convert you have conversations or the things you say or how you say them. You know, so for me, I feel like and the angle vibe too. is important it to is. me. It is because if Come on, if you're trying to have a conversation and somebody's vibes just like off, off putting, yeah, you're you're not gonna want to start a conversation. Or you can even tell when somebody's like just like, oh, I don't want to talk yeah. to you, or I don't have time for that, or you know, like, yeah. or they're short with their conversation. They're just like, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah and yeah, I did that, and it you was you know, fun. those are the, in my opinion, those are the type of people that are cool, like people who are open to talking. You know, mm-hmm. like they're open to like, hey, yeah, let's have a conversation. Like that's cool. Because because like there, I, there are people who are close. They are people, yeah. but there is people also that are very open and they just want to talk to somebody. Like um, yeah. when we went to the hair salon the other day, well, a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so. Um, there was a lady that just came in and her vibe was just so positive and so like open. And she came in and she said hi to everybody. Right. And usually people don't, they just come in, they're on their phone and they sit down and wait. But that lady was just there and she got a, she opened a magazine. She was reading a magazine. And so I was like, Hey, you know, like, so yeah. And I started talking to her and we had the most awesome conversation. Um, I got to learn so many things about her that you would never guess things that people go through, you know, but, and I learned a lot from her, like her positivity about life, even though she's had like tragedy happen to her. Um, she was just so positive in the way she saw things. And I was like, Oh my God, this person, this person is amazing. And so, you know, after that, um, cause she was getting the haircut. So I was waiting yeah, for her. And it's funny. And I turn around and she's having like a deep conversation and I'm like, that's so her with the lady. Yeah. And so, um, Yeah, we ended, she came out and then I just said, thank you. And I gave her a hug and I was like, hey, is it okay if I gave her, give you a hug? And she's like, yeah, yeah, of course. And I gave her a hug and then I left. And that was just, to me, it was so much more um, giving or what's a good word? Like so much more rewarding for you, rewarding to have an actual conversation with somebody than just being on my phone. I mean, because that whole time I could have just been on my phone, but um I decided to talk to her. I got a good vibe from her. Um, she was nice and we talked and it was amazing. And maybe like those kind of things happen to like help you. Like, to help maybe, you grow like, maybe. Yeah, or learn something about yourself. That yeah. You need to know. Learn like life lessons. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so. Like a pick me up, you know. It was. It was definite. It made me feel better. And, you know, it made me feel like blessed for what I have yeah. and. Be it's, thankful. It's awesome to meet like people who just have such a positive outlook on life, you know, yeah. because they're like they can go through all kinds of like things in their life that can like tear them down, but they'll still like have a positive outlook, you know, and that's cool. Yeah, that's it was, cool because it was that's really hard sweet. to do. And there's sweet people too, people who are like really kind. Yeah, and that it just like you know makes you think about humanity. And then there's the people that are not friendly. Yeah. yeah. Like they'll just, you'll and ask them something and they'll be off putting like. But yes, it's, it's like, so interesting because vibes like that can like change your vibe, you know? Like yeah. you're like, oh man, why is this person like that? And it's just like, oh, you know? And then it maybe like ruins your day sometimes. Yeah. 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 Like so, but me and Eileen, we're kind of like, okay, let's not hang out with with toxic yeah, people yeah, toxic as she people. says yes. toxic people yes. but why are they toxic you know i think because they don't express their emotions you know what i mean i feel like it comes down to communication too like kind of being open about how you feel so like you feel like a lot of people's toxicity comes from lack of emo- lack of being able to express yeah, themselves yeah and i feel like how they feel about themselves on the inside, you know, maybe they're like insecure about themselves, you know, they're not happy with themselves. And that's kind of like, that's kind of, that's what they throw out, you know, with their yeah. personality or their vibe, just like anger, you know, because they're not, or maybe they're just having a bad day. Yeah. That's possible too. Maybe like, like having a maybe their day. boss is being like a, you know, yeah. so, but, or maybe just coworkers. It doesn't necessarily to have always have to be the boss. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what if your boss is, like, super cool, you know? Yeah. But, I yeah. don't know. I mean, that kind of gets challenging to me to, like, talk to... To have an actual conversation with somebody that's, like, off-putting. Yeah. Um, Or that kind of, like... Or, you know? like, people who don't want to talk about things, too. You know? When, when you try to, like, hey, what's your issue? You want to talk about, like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And then they'll just be, like, no, no, there's nothing going on. Like, don't, not wanting to acknowledge, like... That you have a problem or something, you know, but you're only trying to help. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, hopefully, I mean, hopefully it gets 
us all thinking about you know just casual conversations yeah. man and they're great and so um there's a lot of growth in it yeah there's a lot of expression <laughs> in it yeah there's a lot you can learn yeah right? and so you get learning from it you get make friendships yeah. from it um so i feel like yeah that's what we want to do we want to grow with people and and learn from people and just you know yeah so yeah so that's what we're basing it off of and um yeah so gloria eileen hey. and like i said hopefully next week we'll do another video um is there anything else you want to share before we um just that i'm looking forward to it and yeah i'm excited to have guests because it's kind of like, it's fun because you're just like having a conversation, you know, and you just ask all these questions. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And so we, and when we brought it up to our family, we're like, hey, we're thinking about doing a podcast. And they were kind of like, what? That sounds cool. Yeah. And that's the good they thing. They were all very them. like, oh, that's cool. I didn't yeah, think about they that. They were supportive. So they that, were very that's, supportive. That's the good thing. And the fact that they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm like open to being a guest, you know? Yeah. And so, I that mean, that's the good thing. Guests, like family or guests. I mean, we're not trying to like get like celebrities up in here. I know yeah. we can't, but, um, I mean, I feel like everybody has an interesting story to their yeah. life. Everybody does interesting things, um, you know, and so that's what we want to do. We want to like just ca casually just, you know, talk and and maybe you can learn something from each one of them or each one of us or um, or maybe you have questions. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we just kind of want the guests to feel like they're also a part of this conversation you know like like they're here too yeah you know we'll see how they do with the camera because <laughs> it's nerve it's nerve-wracking like i mean it's just the camera and then we get to i i mean i don't know how to do any of that video stuff yeah because we're we're new at this i mean you yeah. know we don't we don't really know i mean i've never done it done a skype i've never done yeah i mean i've done the the video chats but that's about it but like have we ever even done like a video video no probably not so yeah we're learning as we go we're learning as we go so if you guys can help us out great um we're open for advice for sure yes for um constructive criticism mm -hmm. and if you guys have any questions let us know um we thank you for watching subscribe to our channel please yes. and like our video okay thank you thank you bye